Hello and welcome to you all as our coverage of the opening fixture of the International Champions Cup gets underway. It is a slightly new concept for some of you, but it is a special invitation event held both stateside and in Asia, as it has been since 2013. Interest in the competition has been phenomenal. It has drawn in crowds of over 100,000, which signal again that football is indeed a worldwide sport. It presents a rare opportunity for fans who cannot travel to watch their clubs or their favourite players to see them right on their own doorstep. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Well, there is a party atmosphere here, a very, very good turnout. Yes, Peter, as you have intimated, a great stage for, for both clubs. A chance for supporters to, to see their team up close and personal too and indeed an opportunity to, to grow the fan base and, of course, expand into new markets. The success... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Sees it all the way. And back to base. Plays it out to the flank. Perez did really well to win. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. It's not taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. Enzo Perez, Skoko, ball's gone out of play, aimed long and direct, out to the left it goes, tries to get it forward quickly, and it's Bacali, and that's one way to annoy his teammates. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Keep defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line in that defence, and, and he's delivering. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Bacali. the keeper and go again keeper goes long oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger forward it goes well each team knows that they're still well below standard and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out gets it back Prato.
He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Bakal. And it's Skoko. He's got through. Prato. He's left his man. Goes for goal. He's delivered all right. And it's River Plate who go in front. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. River Plate break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. And it's Bakali. A really good feat. Now, can he capitalise? It's one! It's in! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Andelect grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Going through. Aimed long and direct. And it's got through. Perez tries to get it forward quickly. Skoko plays a clever pass. Can he put it away? It's got in, he's put through his own net. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus. River Plate, some help from Lady Luck there, they all count. And it's Bacali, pushes it out wide. Prato, Skoko. Now it's Skoko, face to face with the kick, the shot's on! Oh, that's a waste. Be a change now with the ball out of play. Prato. That's a brilliant interception. There's the half time whistle. So, a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Anderlecht would seem to still be getting over the OG. It was an honest mistake, and they've got to move on. That gets things going for the second half. Anderlecht need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by 
just the right amount of caution and I think the more experienced players can oversee that Prato Prato looking for space out wide throw in He just read it. Gets it back. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Made into space out wide. And the finish! Oh, that is an awful miss. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. forward Skoko needed to come up with a better ball yeah the idea was right the delivery wasn't they can revisit that further on Andelect get it back again looking for space out wide Perez going for goal Getting better and better. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. That has the feeling of a breath of fresh air, Peter, and now they can fill their lungs and, and just blow them away. And he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. That was just asking too much of himself from there. No, that's not the ball he wanted. And it's Skoko. Goko. Trato! And somehow it stayed out. <laughs> Anderlecht can make their change now with uh, a break in play. for a corner kick.
Neto. Looking to break out here. All the way back, and they start again. Benzo Perez battles to win it back. Prato. He could be in here. He's got away. Can he score? Prato. Into the last five minutes. Skocker. Just brushed off the ball there. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Prato. Prato. Defenders on the back foot. And that's it. Players certainly gave it everything, but just didn't get the break. Terrific support, terrific effort, but the wrong outcome. Your final thoughts, Jim? I enjoyed that, Peter. Both teams went about their work in a, a really committed manner, and for me, it just always held an interest. Well, thank you very much, Jim, for joining me.